Coming up on Around Kern County, April is the month of rest. How Public Health and Kern BHRS are helping our residents get more sleep. And spring has officially sprung here in Kern County. How local students are giving back to our natural resources just in time for the warm weather when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. If you're just starting out in your career and looking for a job, Kern County Employers' training resource has got you covered. On Wednesday, April 19th, they're hosting a young adult conference and career expo at the Bakersfield Marriott, located at 801 Truxton Avenue. From 8 in the morning until 12 noon, enrolled attendees can learn about student success, employability, job placement, and job retention, as well as hear from guest speakers. Then in the afternoon, the career fair opens up to the public from 1 to 5 p.m. Keep in mind, this event is geared towards younger job seekers between the ages of 18 to 24 years old. To reserve your spot for the conference or to learn more, please call America's Job Center's EPIC program at 661-336-6460 or text 661-742-2812. Now that the weather is warming up and we're seeing longer days, it's important now more than ever that we get enough rest. This month, Kern County Public Health and Kern Behavioral Health and Recovery Services are highlighting the importance of sleep as part of their Grounded in Health campaign. This year's long initiative is designed to help our residents find the balance and importance in taking care of both their physical and mental health. And all of it starts when our head hits the pillow. Things like meditation, breathing activities, exercise, the things that we do during the day that help us manage stress and take care of ourselves are going to go a long way at night when we're trying to sleep. We really need to think about where we sleep. Think about your bedroom at night and start thinking about, is it a good sleep environment? You want it to be dark, you want it to be cool if possible, and you want to remove any electronic devices. That's really hard for us, but that's highly recommended. You want to go to bed at the same time every evening if possible. Creating that routine is going to help you maximize your sleep. And then finally, you're going to want to reduce your alcohol intake, your caffeine intake, and eating heavy meals before bed. Well, so much is happening when we're sleeping. Our brains are literally processing information and downloading and regenerating. Sleep is actually like fuel for our brain. So the correlation, everything resets, everything recharges in terms of all of our mental functions and our physical functions. And that's why sleep is so, so important to our overall health. If you sleep good, you're feeling better. It's obviously gonna improve your overall health but you're gonna have more energy during the day, um, and this is just gonna help us live those more productive lives that we all wanna live. For more information on the benefits of sleep, how to achieve your best sleep environment, and to stay up to date with the Grounded in Health campaign, please visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. There's a new way for our community to get outside and enjoy the warmer weather. Anna Marie Odo has the story. Kern County Public Works, in partnership with Kern Wheelman and Bike Bakersfield, has finished an exciting project just in time for spring with the extension of the bike path around Lake Ming. Earlier this month, Public Works held a grand opening ribbon cutting and inaugural bike ride to celebrate the completion of the project. This newly constructed paved path spans an additional 1.1 miles, making a continuous loop around the lake. Today we're celebrating the grand ribbon cutting of the Kern County bike path, lake to lake, from Buena Vista Lake in the west to Lake Ming here in the east. It's a three month project and courtesy of the Kern Council of Governments, Kern County Public Works, and in partnership with uh, local groups like cyclists, like Bike Bakersfield, Kern Wheelman. In Public Works, we just finished constructing the Lake Ming bike path extension. It's approximately one mile long. It does a full loop around the lake, so that way if you're riding on the bike path, you don't have to get off the path. 
you just continuously make one big loop all the way around the lake and you get to view the, the beautiful views right now uh, of the lake. And at the Ribbon Canoe today, we had people of all ages. We had elderly people and children right in the back pass. So we know it's gonna be a great benefit to the community. Residents can hop on the Kern County bike path at Lake Ming and take it all the way to the Buena Vista recreational area for a total of 30 miles. To view an entire map of the trail, please visit kernpublicworks.com slash walk dash Kern. And we're ending today with how local students are giving back to the Kern River to ensure our natural resources stay off the hook. Watch now. Today, our students are releasing their rainbow trout, so native to Kern County, the Kern River specifically, as part of the California Fish and Wildlife Program, uh, salmonoids in the classroom. Uh, for us locally, we don't have salmon in our river. Uh, we don't reach the ocean, so we are rainbow trout. I'm with Kern River Fly Fishers, and we help the trout in the classroom. We have a great mentorship with our club, and we have outings, and we, uh, really promote fly fishing because we love it so much. So being able to have the students learn what is locally out there, we don't necessarily have wildlife in the middle of Bakersfield and understanding that our river is a vital part of our ecosystem and that partnerships being able to sponsor the trip allows students from those urban areas or those local kind of inner city areas to be able to come out to somewhere where they might see an impact of the life cycle of a trout that's, you know, ends up in Riverwalk Park or in Truxton Lake or at Hart Park or Lake Mead. They give trout in the classroom, they get to see the eggs hatch, and they came out today to put the fish back in the river. So they see that whole chain of events and they're just learning more about it. A lot of the kids we talk to have never been out besides a city park. A lot of people use the parks and recreation system and it's important to understand that there's there's a whole back piece of it with the Fish and Wildlife Service, game wardens, um, people that purchase fishing license, all that stuff supports programs like this and it allows people to be able to go out and enjoy the biodiversity we have here in Kern County. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.